2.5 to 2.7 grams of copper sulfate into the boiling tube. Loosen it slightly. Okay, gently put it over the flame. You'll see that water is coming out. Okay, make sure that you put it in a diagonal direction, sweeping it up and down. Okay, periodically heating the top to ensure that you drive water out of the boiling tube. Okay. Shaking it lightly to break up the solids. You'll see that um, at the bottom, you'll start to be a bit white. So that's the part where the solids are um, without the water. Okay, so at this point, you could give it a light tap on the table to break up the solid, carry on heating. You can turn it around to give it a good um, heating on the other end so that you can carry on driving up the water. As we will be weighing the boiling tube later, it will be good to slightly shift it down, the test tube holder down, so as to drive out the water that's on the top. Else it might interfere with your measurement later on. So this will be the final product that you'll see at the end of the heating. This is the anhydrous copper sulfate. Put it in the beaker and let it cool. So when it is cool, bring it to the weighing balance and weigh. Reheat this sample till you get a consistent reading and that would be the solid anhydrous copper sulfate with all the water driven out.